joining us. Lots to get through this week, so let's quickly begin with the Olympics. Home of sports like stupid tiny tennis, <laughs> inconvenient frisbee, and whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> now, these games have been full of thrilling performances, from Simone Biles uh, to Usain Bolt, to the horse that danced around to Smooth by Santana and Rob Thomas. <laughs> just answered the question, how do you simultaneously undermine the dignity of both Carlos Santana and a horse? <laughs> but, but there were also controversies this year, from the presence of the Russian team in the wake of their doping scandal, uh, to an IOC official being arrested for alleged ticket scalping, to the international saga of Ryan Lochte, a swimmer <laughs> who looks like he's about to play the John Slattery role in a porn parody of Mad Men. <laughs> now, Lochte made headlines this week by claiming he and three other swimmers had been robbed at gunpoint, and then made headlines again once witnesses backed up by security cam footage from a gas station revealed the swimmers had actually been confronted by a security guard after they broke a soap dispenser in the bathroom, damaged a door, tore down a sign, and urinated around the premises. <laughs> and spare a thought there for the soap dispenser. <laughs> Seriously? I was already a gas station's men's room soap dispenser. <laughs> My life was shitty enough, and now I'm being vandalised by if Sting was a jock. <laughs> and, and while his teammates were detained by authorities, Lochte, the purest form of the chemical element bro, was, <laughs> was already back in America offering a bullshit apology. Lochte posting on social media, quote, I want to apologise for my behaviour last weekend and for not being more careful and candid in how I described the events that early morning. There is no way he wrote that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Ryan Lochte thinks Game of Thrones took place in the late 1800s and still doesn't understand how mirrors work. <laughs> Dude, stop copying me. <laughs> I'll stop when you stop, bro. <laughs> and look, people are right to be angry here because Lochte's behaviour wasn't just shitty and entitled. He's also ruined himself for us. Four years ago, he was America's favourite sweet, dumb merman who claimed to have designed his own shoes and described the process like this. These are my shoes that I designed from top to the very sole to the very top to the bottom. No, laces. He couldn't remember all the parts of a shoe. <laughs> and he was standing next to hundreds of shoes. And look. The fact that Lochte is a total arsehole is now not remotely surprising. It's just that it makes him a lot less fun now. So as we say goodbye to the Rio Olympics, sadly, we must also say farewell to one of America's favourite idiots. Ryan Lochte, America's idiot sea cow. Uh, what I was always good at was letting things go through, like, through one ear, out the other, so to say. Douchebag, I don't even know. What is douchebag? Like, what is it? You know, I always see babies and the clothes that they wear, and it's mm -hmm. horrendous. <sighs> I just blanked out again. I'm an athletic person. Whether it's life or there's swimming, um, always do your best. I swear, I think I'm like the only swimmer in the world that cannot float. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Woo. What defines me? Ryan Lochte. <laughs> Moving on.